Hello everyone, today we're going to have design.com website builder tutorial and review. So please watch till then to properly understand the video is all about. So if you want to create an account on design.com, you can use our link in the description down below where you can get discounts or rewards upon signing up. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first, just go to their website right here, design.com. And after going to that, you will see this page right here and you can just uh, see through their uh, website itself you can uh, you know see all of their social their website more and also all of their uh, features that they offer you can use right here and if you want you can just click login right here on the top right corner and it will ask you to log in with your email or you can just continue with google account so i'm just going to continue with my google account and after that i will be redirected to this uh, page right here so let's just wait so as you can see, uh, it says my account. So that means I am I'm already logged in to the uh, website. So now, how to create a website? So as you can see, design.com helps you to, you know, create your website, create your logos, etc., etc. So first, you need to enter your business name. So if you want to create a website, just go to a, a website right here and click website builder and you will be redirected to this page right here and you need to enter your uh, website builder so now i'm just going to put a random name for example so this is my uh website uh, name or business name so after that i just click start now and the uh, design.com will show me a bunch of uh, uh templates that i can use since uh, design.com also offer templates that i can use to uh you know just for my uh website so actually it says actually it shows uh logo templates that i can use for my website and i can create my own logo itself or i can just use uh these uh templates that design.com offers so for example let's just say use this one so this is what the this is what our logo is so as you can see after i click on it i will be redirected to this uh website editing page so this is where you can edit your uh, website and that's and actually it's a drag and drop editing and it's very intuitive you can just click on each section you will see three different sections that uh my website uh contains so this is this there is a template section content section background logo and style and you can go through each of this to edit your uh website or your logo so that's it so if you go if you go to templates you will see all of this uh templates uh layout that you can use so let's just say we use this one so i can just actually uh click uh, click on it and it will uh you know it will uh reflect right here so as you can see this is my uh, templates right here so there is service contacts uh, home tab service tab and contact tabs and each of this i can edit so i can just click on the section and right here on the right side i will see the uh, the properties of that section and i can change all of that for example the image right here i can change this image i can just uh click replace right here and i can just upload a random image for example my image and if i click my uploads i can just uh, choose uh you know random image or if i click drop your files right here i can choose random image on my uh files for example for my business for example this one so right here it start loading and after it finish uh, uploading this uh, image right here will reflect on this one right here so as you can see the image is actually replaced and i can also uh, change the text the uh, font size the font itself and yeah the types of uh, text and for example finding information i can change it to uh, uh, Pizza clothing. 
For example, let's just change the uh, title of this service. So as you can see, and I can also change the description. So we're, for example, we're always looking for talented and motivation people to join our team. If you are passionate and share our values, we encourage you to explore career opportunities with us. So yes, that's it. And also, I can change this one to uh, after you click each sections, uh, this uh, property side on the right side right here will appear, and you can just edit all of the contents uh, included on that section. So yeah, yeah, I can change the logo, and I can have an option to set it to none, so there's no logo there, and I can upload a random logo. And yes, that's it. So for the nav nav navigation uh, style, I can click the tabs, the, the, the navigation tab style of the uh, navigation bar. So yes, this is the navigation bar. I can, they can just, uh, you know, click this one. So as you can see, it's very easy to edit. It's very intuitive. So every people can do it, uh, you know, basically. And yes, I can also change the color itself of the page or the section itself so for example i can change from this this one to this one yeah example that's it i'm changing the uh you know the colors from this one let's say black and so you can see it turns black and yeah that's it and for the content as you can see this is where you can add your contents and yes, that's it. So that is under the content page. So uh, early we uh, discussed uh, templates. So now we're done also with the content. So under content page, you can also edit the header settings, the footer settings of the section. So each section uh, have their own, uh, you know, contents. And you can edit this one by one right here on the right side. And for the background, also we can edit your background. The uh, you can upload your own background, or you can uh, you know change the color of the background itself, right here. And yes, that's it. So you can just uh, you know edit your background, uh, you know, content or background properties right here. And for the logo, yes, you can actually uh, see your logo preview. And if you want, you can switch your template. So th the logo comes with. Uh, along with the uh, template itself so the templates comes along with the logo so we if you want you can just switch the template or switch the logo itself and you can see uh, you can switch the logo yes right here under content uh, instead of choosing logo choose upload logo to you know update your logo itself and that's is uh, you know that is how you can edit your logo and as you can see the uh, template comes with the logo so you can just use the logo itself uh, for you and you can also change the uh, edit the logo itself lo the logo colors the logo text yeah all of the all of the contents inside this logo right here you can change it right here so you can see i can change the text example beads sure yeah as you can see after I change it, uh, it reflects right here. So I am actually changing my logo text. And also you can change this one too, the supporting text. And also the the, the font type. Yes, that's it. And also the uh, color itself, I can change it. Yes. So you can see, start changing. So yeah, that's it. That's how you can, you know, edit your uh, logo on your website and for the style for example the button style uh it actually uh set up like this so this is the default uh, uh button style but you can change it uh whatever you want right here so you can change this one to this one so for example let's just go to the uh home page so yeah as you can see I can change the uh, button uh, style right here and also the button fill color, the button border color, and the icon color itself. And for the text style, you can, you know, change the uh, 
overall style for the titles so that you can you 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 don't uh you know go uh each of them individually to change their font you can just uh you know change the whole uh font of the title right here and for the headings too the paragraphs and also the buttons so th yeah it's actually more easier if you change your text style right here rather than go to them individually and for the settings yes right here you can uh, edit your uh, favicon your favicon is a small icon next to your site title in the uh, browser tab so you can just upload upload your own icon right here and for the analytics integration you can use google analytics and add your google analytics right here your measurement id to track your visitors using g4a and use this format as you can see if you want to input your google analytics and for the social share uh, you can customize how your website will look when shared on social media and you can add a thumbnail to that so that when you share your link your website link to your social media uh, the link will show the thumbnail and also the title and description and for the cookie collection yeah you can enable cookie collection banner so some regional laws requires website owners to inform visitors of cookie tra tracking so yes that's it so after you're done editing uh, your website uh, right here on the website builder editor you can just go save your progress and publish so if you click publish as you can see you will be uh, redirected to this one so in order to publish your website you need to have a premium plan uh, subscription to your account since yeah, this uh, website is not free as you can see based on the uh, based on the features it offers based on the editor it's actually very easy so that it comes with a uh, price because it, it helps you build your website freely so yes that's it so you just need to uh you know uh purchase a plan premium plan to your account so that you can uh you know publish your website and yes that's it so after you're done, if you you click publish, uh, the uh, the design.com will show you a link and you can open it and you can see there your website. And now it is published and it also it is also uh, published uh, publicly and people can see your website on the internet. They can search uh, they can search for it. And yes, that's it. That's how you can use design.com. That's how you can build your website your logo on design.com and that's it for today's video if you want more please like this video subscribe to our channel and see you in the next one